Users of the Native Instruments Control S Mark III will already be familiar with the beautiful artwork that accompanies plugins on the screen of this keyboard. But a new feature that has debuted recently is the facility for MIDI templates. But how about getting that same artwork onto your own custom MIDI templates, so that instead of having this, you can have something more like this. I'm going to show you how. So what I want to do here is take one of my existing MIDI templates that doesn't have the artwork and add it. So let's head over to Shift Browser and load that up. And here it is. Uh, it's the copy of the other template, but it has no uh, wallpaper background artwork. Now I'm going to leave the keyboard alone for a minute and head over to the computer to actually produce my artwork. So here we are in Photoshop and I want a new file and you'll see that it already has the dimensions I want selected. I want 1280 by 212 pixels. It must be exactly that, 1280 by 212. I hit create and give myself some space to edit that. Let's zoom that up. And now I'm going to add a background. So I'm going to file and place embedded. And I've got this uh, beauty shot here, which uh, I just took a photo of my montage. So I've placed the image and you can see that uh, it sized it to fit within that image, but that's no good. I need it to cover the image. So I'm going to scale that way up so that the corners go outside of the image. And then I'm also going to rotate it slightly so that uh, it's slightly more sympathetic to the aspect ratio of that image and just place it carefully. Make sure that when you do this, uh, the corners are completely covered. Uh, otherwise, you'll end up with uh, some slightly weird whiteness. So I think that will do. So I'll hit OK on that. And now I tend to like to blur these images slightly because I think that when you have a very sharp image like that on the uh, Control S screen, it's a bit distracting. So I'm just going to add a tilt shift blur on there. I'm going to rotate that again so it's sympathetic to the image. Just about here. I'll extend the blur down there. And uh, I think that for the purposes of the demo, that will be fine. So I'll hit enter to confirm that. Now I'm going to place the logos. So again, file place embedded. I've got the montage logo here, uh, which I actually made by uh, taking the PDF of the Montage M manual and uh, making it as big as I possibly could and screen grabbing it, uh, which is not the great way to do it, but uh, it works. So now we'll add the Yamaha logo, uh, which is file place embedded again. And I've got a Yamaha logo, which I made in the same way as the Montage logo with the uh, Montage M manual. Scale that way, way down and then move it into place. Maybe a little smaller than that again. And I think that will do. Right, I'm happy with the image now. Uh, so I'm going to go to File and save a copy. And I'm going to save it on my computer and I'm going to call it NKS and save it as a WebP format. This is the format that the keyboard expects. Hit save on there and accept the uh, default options. I want a lossless copy. And it has now placed this NKS WebP file in my directory. So now we need something to put it into. So uh, let's open up the keyboard again. I'm going to hit Shift Browser and I'm going to make sure that my template is selected and then press Export. It'll give you checkboxes next to all of the templates and I just want you to select the uh, the one that you want to add the artwork to for now. Uh, you can select any number of them to export them all at the same time but for now we just want this one. Once you've, you've got the correct one selected, press Export again and it will open up a window where you can choose where to save the template onto your computer. So there we are, I've saved it there. Now this is a text-based JSON file. So you can edit it with any text editor, including Notepad, TextEdit, WordPad, whatever. But I would strongly recommend that you use a proper code editor. And the one I would recommend for this purpose is Visual Studio Code because A, it's great and B, it's free. So I'm going to open that up with Visual Studio Code. 
here it is and there are just two things I need to change here the first of them is I need to say that the hide template name is now going to be true because I do want the template name hidden and then I need some image data now obviously I can't just paste the image straight in there so I need to convert that I've got this very handy website called base64-image.de converts binary images into base64 uh, encoding so I'll just drag my image on there and you can see that it's recognized NKS WebP and it knows that it's 1280 by 212 pixels and it's generated 132.6k uh, of text let's show the code it's going to show you two versions one of them is for using image elements because this is essentially a, uh, a sort of website building tool and the other one is for use in CSS uh, ignore the CSS one you want the top one the image element version that begins data colon hit select all right click copy and then head back to your code editor and then place your cursor between the double quotes the empty double quotes after image data right click and paste now on uh, an editor like Visual Studio Code it's going to uh, hide most of that line because 135k of text is very very long indeed but rest assured it has done the right thing just make sure that you have image data close quote colon space open quote data colon image slash webp and then all the gobbledygook after that and if you can see that then uh, everything is fine so hit save there and this template is now ready to send to the keyboard so back on the keyboard again I'm going to press the import button which opens up this uh, import MIDI templates dialog on the computer again and we just drag on the KMT file and you'll see that once you've done that it lists it as long as you've got the correct one listed hit send templates and close and on the keyboard you'll see that it now has a version 2 of your template so let's uh, actually get rid of the original one and then rename this one we'll just get rid of the brackets 2 hit save and we're ready we just have to hit settings MIDI to uh, get back to that and there we go there is the template with your new custom artwork so I hope that was uh, relatively clear and easy to follow um, good luck